In this video, I'm going to reveal step by step how you can go to WGU, which is Western Governors University, and get a Bachelor of Science in Education Secondary Physics in as little as one year. And I'm literally going to break this down, make it as simple as possible. It's probably going to save you like 20 hours of research. And I even made a cheat sheet that is going to show you step by step every single thing you need to do in order to accomplish this. And this is something that previously I only shared with consulting and paid clients, but recently I did get a bunch of requests to make videos about this, so I decided to make a series. So if you appreciate me giving you this insane amount of value that's likely gonna save you years of time and tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it. All right, so I do want to make a very quick disclaimer here. I made an entire video about WGU and why it's such a good school. Um, it's top 10%, it's regionally accredited, it is respected in the technology industry as well as many other industries. However, WGU is not for everybody and there are other alternative colleges that have this same model where you can get an accelerated degree. Some of their models and how they operate are a little bit different, but you can essentially do the same thing. And I highly recommend you check that video out. I'll put that right here. So WGU, great school, has a ton of pros, but there are a few cons to it and I go over them in that video. But with that being said, going to those other accelerated or competency-based universities, that process is going to be relatively similar. So you'll probably get some value out of watching this video, even if you decide to go to another university. So the first step, the first thing you need to do once you've decided that you're going to get this degree is you want to go ahead, get your transcript together, get all your experience together and transfer all of that into WGU. Now, this seems like a very obvious and easy step. Some people maybe have already even done this, but I do wanna say really quickly, make sure you take your time on this step because WGU is extremely gracious about the classes that they accept. So for instance, in many cases, they may accept military experience. They might accept work experience. They also accept a lot of certifications and certificates. And of course, if you have any AP or IB classes that you've taken in high school or classes that you've already taken in college, they will very likely accept those as well. There's also other other random things that they might accept like CLEP exams, modern states, sailor, etc. So once you've transferred in your existing credits, you're done with this step, they're likely going to send you a list of the classes that you still have to take. And at that point, you want to move on to step number two, which is probably the most important step. And that is you want to go ahead and test out of many of the remaining classes using third party companies. Now, the three most popular third party companies to use at a school like WGU is going to be study.com, sophia.org, and straighterline.com. And I actually like using them in that order. So my favorite one is study.com. This one just seems to have the best UI. Uh, the classes seem to be relatively easy, relatively easy to pass the tests. And you actually feel like you learned something because the UI and the interface is so good. My second favorite one is sophia.org. That one tends to be really good as well. So if the class isn't offered at study.com, you can check it out at sophia.org. And then my third one is straighterline. So some people like to get really strategic with this and they take like you know five classes from study.com and three classes from sophia.org and one class from straighter line because they heard that the classes are easier on the different ones uh, if you want to get really strategic with it you can i like to just keep it simple and do everything on one platform and then if that platform doesn't have it go to the next one but with that being said there are 41 total courses that you have to take to get this degree and you can very comfortably test out of about one class per week even if you're super busy you've got a full time job and a family. If you're not in a situation like that where you actually do have quite a bit of free time, which many of the people who contact me are in situations like that, you can very easily test out of like one class per day, sometimes even multiple classes per day. But if you want to take things slowly, you can do one per week. So after you finish taking all these classes from the third party companies, what you want to go ahead and do is make sure you transfer those into WGU, which should be relatively easy, especially if you use the cheat sheet, which I'll put down in the link in the description below. And by the way, I'm going to go step by step here in a moment, and I'm going to show you an example of exactly how you can do this. Then you want to go ahead and move on to step three, which is don't enroll in WGU yet, right? We have not enrolled yet. You want to go ahead and pre-study the remaining classes. So this is a very important step that a lot of people skip. A lot of people will just go straight into WGU, but actually you can go ahead and pre-study these classes. And the benefit to this is when you actually do enroll in WGU, you will be able to knock 
out the classes as fast as possible. In many cases, people are able to knock out all of the classes in one to two terms. So the time that you're actually enrolled in WGU is only one to two terms and you pay somewhere around $3,500 per term. And so that's a total cost of $7,000. And in many cases, a lot of that is gonna get covered by grants and scholarships, especially if you're proactive about that, which I've made videos about how you can do that as well. And so there's many cases where people don't have to take out any loans and it actually doesn't even cost them anything. And on top of that, you're able to save yourself a bunch of time and opportunity cost. So what you wanna do is pre-study these classes. There are a few really good resources for doing that. Definitely check out the WGU subreddit. They have a main subreddit and then they typically will have a subreddit dedicated to the specific degree as well. On top of that, there are many different WGU related Facebook groups. So I would highly recommend joining those Facebook groups and checking them out too. And on these subreddits and Facebook groups, people will share tips and tricks on how to study for and pass the exams at WGU as quickly and efficiently as possible. So highly recommend checking those out. There's a bunch of other really good free resources like YouTube, Khan Academy. There's very cheap resources you can go for such as Udemy. And of course, if you're old fashioned, you're a textbook type of person, you can always order a cheap textbook that's a few years old from Amazon. And so here is a review from somebody who went to WGU and I believe they got this exact degree and they bought a couple of books on Amazon. Uh, they said that WGU also gives you a bunch of study resources as well. And then once you feel confident, once you feel like you've pre-studied the remaining classes, what you wanna go ahead and do is enroll in WGU finally, and then knock those classes out as fast as you possibly can. So this is where you would go to your counselor and you would finally agree, hey, I wanna enroll now, which by the way, in many cases, counselors will try to get you to enroll earlier. It's in WGU's best benefit to do that if you think about it because they're likely gonna make more money, but don't do that until you've completed that last step. Now, there are tons of different reviews on YouTube, reviews on Reddit, et cetera, all across the internet of people who have gone to WGU and have used similar tactics to what I'm telling you about. And realistically speaking, even if you have a full-time job, even if you have a family, even if you're super busy, you can take these classes at WGU and use these tactics and strategies that I've told you about and finish the entire degree in two years or less. And if you have more free time, you can do it in a shorter amount of time than that. Some people take this to the extreme, like my friend Josh Matacor, who was able to finish a computer science degree at WGU in two months. And computer science is probably the most difficult degree that they offer at the school. Now make sure that you also use WGU's resources and you contact the professor, especially for some of the harder classes. Now, for instance, some of the harder classes might be physics, content knowledge, or science methods, secondary science. Definitely contact your professors if you're having trouble with that. Yes? Professor Norman, my name's Lucy. So the overall strategy summary is, first, you transfer in the existing credits, then you knock out a bunch of the classes using third-party companies, then you're gonna go ahead and pre-study the remaining courses, and finally, you are going to enroll in WGU and knock out those classes as fast as possible. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, jump into my computer and go over a step-by-step -step example of what it would probably look like if you went through with this entire process. All right, so we are now in in the cheat sheet and I'll just go over some housekeeping stuff really quickly so on the left here you see in this column that says ID this is going to be the ID of the course at WGU and then in this column it's going to be the name of the course at WGU this is the amount of units each course has and then of course this column right here is going to be the study.com classes that you can transfer in now in this particular case uh, it looks like straighter line actually offers this calculus class that study.com doesn't currently offer if they do start offering it in the future I'll go ahead and up Update this sheet and I know I have gotten some uh, requests to put in the Sophia classes as well so I will likely do that in the future as well so make sure you uh, keep the sheet and uh, keep checking it out also if you want to save money using study.com you can get 30% off your first three months using the code Shane hummus at checkout so they were nice enough to give me a discount uh, checkout code and it also helps out the channel if you use that so if you appreciate all my hard work go ahead and use that code and it also helps the channel out and I appreciate it. And also in the future, uh, if there's any certificates or certifications that you can get to knock out these classes, um, I will go ahead and put them here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first step, which is for you to transfer in your existing credits. So in this step, I'm just gonna kind of make this up. Let's say that you took AP Biology and AP Math during high school. So you're able to transfer in those credits. And then on top of that, you took one semester of community college. And because of that, you were able to transfer in communications 
art and astronomy as well. So at this point, you would, you know, send all that into WGU and it would look very similar to this. Um, and of course, the ones that are crossed out are the ones that you were able to transfer in. And then you would move on to the next step, which is for you to knock out as many classes as you can using the third party companies. So that's the test out phase. And as you can see, you can knock all these classes out using third party companies. And like I said, I will try to keep this sheet up to date in the future. So you would go ahead and take those classes at study.com. And then this is what it would look like after you were done transferring those in. So as you can see, you were able to transfer in a significant amount of classes. Then you would move on to phase three, which is you would pre-study these classes. So you'd pre-study the remaining classes using all of the references that I mentioned before. And you'd wanna get it to the point where you feel very confident about being able to go through these classes really quickly. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of the kind of, you know, like, education related classes are relatively easy and it's kind of just busy work. Some of the science classes are probably the ones that you want to focus your time on. Those are going to be the more difficult ones. But with that being said, once you feel confident about the classes, you're going to go ahead and move on to step four, which is you want to enroll and knock out those classes as fast as you can. And if you've done the first three steps properly, you can get it done in as little as one year. And then of course, you're gonna move on to step five, which is go and brag to all your friends and family that you were able to knock out a degree ridiculously fast at a low price. And if you're really nice, you can move on to step six, which is you can show your friends and family how they can do it as well. So you can share this video with them. Now, one thing I do wanna say is make sure, I know I said this at the beginning, but make sure you check out that video on WGU. It's a phenomenal option for a ton of people, but it's not necessarily for everyone. So I go over the pros and cons of WGU in that video. So definitely check that out.